so we had already discussed about the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and uh, dilated cardiomyopathy that we had already discussed now we will discuss about the restrictive cardiomyopathy restrictive cardiomyopathy also has idiopathic restrictive cardiomyopathy infiltrative cardiomyopathy infiltrative cardiomyopathy has lots of differential diagnosis but for us amyloidosis and endomyocardial fibrosis is what is preferably well seen so here we are dealing with like uh, primarily the echo findings other than structural findings everything will be same for all the types of restrictive cardiomyopathy but echo findings will be very much like uh, 2d echo findings will be two dimensional echo findings will be very minimal in the idiopathic restrictive cardiomyopathy it's like uh, diastolic heart failure you are treating and then you find that there is a severe restriction grade 4 uh, diastolic uh, dysfunction is there and you go on uh, monitoring the patient and you find that the patient is in a very bad condition even if you treat the diastolic heart failure that's what is the idiopathic restrictive cardiomyopathy for the secondary restrictive cardiomyopathy like amyloidosis you will have a classic findings on 2d echo also like uh, there will be all side appearance that is biatrial enlargement is there you can see here biatrial enlargement will be there there will be thinned ias interatrial septum will be thinned out sorry thickened it will be thickened the thickened will be ias will be thickened and there will be thickened valves there will be ischemic or some pattern of uh, thickened septum with ischemic fibrosis in between uh, there will be lvh if you can get it there be that you need to rule out the hypertension and hcm to get into the conclusion that it is lvh of restrictive cardiomyopathy and there may be thickening of all like the uh, there will be hyper enhancement hyper echogenic walls will be there because of the deposition of the melodies but these are all less well defined findings they can be seen in all others also because of the echo parameter change also you can get so two dimensionally you will get to know that the patient is having a diastolic dysfunction a little bit uh, enlarged LA and RA that's how you come to know that the patient most probably has diastolic dysfunction because the atria is uh, uh, depicting the ventricular pressures here other than that valves are thickened IAS is thickened IVS is thickened LVH may be there there will be all those things can be seen in the fortune